I'm Bodhi Itzwe, and this is your NWI.com daily news update for Friday, February 4th. It appears that the town of Highland is the 2011 blizzard champion in northwest Indiana. Highland received nearly 24 inches of snowfall within a couple of days, which the National Weather Service said was the highest accumulation in the area. Road conditions appear to be returning to normal today as plows have cleared snow from the majority of major thoroughfares and as cities and towns are tackling snow removal from residential streets and alleys. National Weather Service forecasts show a warm-up is on the way as temperatures are expected to approach the freezing mark this weekend. But if you didn't have enough snow, there's a chance for further snowfall Sunday and Monday. A Chicago woman was killed early this morning after she was in a chain reaction accident started by a vehicle driving the wrong way on Illinois 394 near Fort Heights. The Cook County Medical Examiner's Office identified the woman as 32-year-old Malika Little. The first crash happened about 1.25 a.m. when a driver heading north on the southbound lanes of the interstate near Lincoln Highway struck a second vehicle. The collision ended up taking out another vehicle. An Illinois State Police Trooper said alcohol was a contributing factor in the accident and the department was waiting on more information before seeking charges against the unidentified wrongway driver. A Valparaiso man is in custody today after police said he admitted to a Thursday morning bank robbery on the city's south side. 31-year-old Sean Russell is being held at the Porter County Jail in connection with the Harris Bank robbery at 750 South Washington Street. Employees told police a man Thursday morning brandished a large knife and demanded cash from a teller. Police arrested Russell in the area believing he matched employees' descriptions and they confiscated a knife and a bag of cash from him. Charges are expected to be filed against Russell later today. A proposal that overwhelmingly passed the Indiana House Thursday plans to replace the Northwest Indiana Regional Bus Authority with a new commission led by the Lake County Mayors. Republican State Representative Ed Soliday said a new Northwest Indiana Bus Commission would be better organized and able to develop a financial plan to support regional transit. Soliday said without the plan, bus service could end in the area by mid-2012. The legislation now moves to the Senate, but there are still questions about whether additional tax revenue has to be generated to support regional transportation. And if you haven't already had the chance, visit NWI.com to check out a condensed version of the blizzard earlier this week from a camera outside a window at the Times Munster office. The two minute video, the two minute video stream shows the cool rise and fall of snow. And the good news is you don't have to shovel afterward. Remember, you can stay up to date on all local news and information at NWI.com and continue checking us out on Facebook, Twitter, and through your iPhone. Thanks for logging on.